Hi guys, welcome to Hi-Fi Collective YouTube. Today we're going to be talking about how to make a ladder stepped attenuator. Now generally we build them in-house but we've had a, quite a few customers who want to build them, them themselves. The reason we kind of push for us to build them is because it is a tricky build. Um, you can imagine, I mean, we, we would use this switch to build a stereo version. So you've got over 160 odd jo solder joins. If one of those is dry or something's not quite right, it won't work. Well, it'll work, but you'll have a position that will just be wrong. So we build them and thoroughly test them before, just to be safe. Anyway, I need to go through how a ladder steps to new to, uh, step simulator works. So effectively, if you look at this sheet here, the signal comes in here and basically goes through a voltage divider, two resistors. This is your earth point here. Signal comes through and it's divided and your output goes there. So as you can see, this is a list of the resistor values we use. This particular one is for a 24 step 50k built on um, an Elmer 4 pole um, 24 way switch. So you, you could obviously have a mono where you'd use this, this one, which is a 2 pole 24 way. That's for a mono ladder. And this one is for a stereo ladder. So for the purpose of today, we'll basically talk about building a mono one. It's effectively, you're just repeating that to make a stereo one. So, what we the way we build it is there's two wafers here. So, this first layer, this first wafer, we will build the bank of RY resistors like this. Um, here is a finished one that we did. This is a stereo version. This is RY left channel, RX left channel, RY right channel, RX right channel. Um, you can see here, this is the earth ring going around the bottom, which represents the earth line here. Now, it's easy to show you on this, but when I'm working with these, you can see it's, the volume is turned down here, so zero volume. You can see this wiper here, the gold tag there. Now that, at this particular position, is connected to this one. So move it over here. This one is connected to this tag here. So when you're building it up, I'll show you on this one. We're doing, this is R Y obviously, which refers to this list here. Zero R is effectively the earth wire, zero resistance. So you can see here, the very first tag here, you've got your earth wire, which we use one mil pure silver. Comes out here and wraps around here. When I'm building them, we basically put the resistors in first. Um, so this guy here, this resistor here, is the 9R1 RY. And then the next one, 18R, and you just build them all the way around like that. It's very important that you don't cut any of the leads, yeah, because you will use the wire that comes out here, you can see, will flip out there and to connect to your R RX bank of resistors. Okay, now the, the slight problem with these um, switches is you have to take them apart in order to build them. So rule of thumb for us is we have it on the lowest volume. So all the way there. Do not touch that switch. Don't, don't turn it while you're in the building process because you move it like that, you won't be able to put it back on properly. You take it off and then you move it like that. It's just confusing. So always keep it low volume. Um, and then you can see that's there. So also, you've got the locator key, which is there, just so you know what, you, what you're doing. So, no locator key there, and that one there. Then I put it in the vise, like this. 
and then there's two screw use a flathead screwdriver they're quite easy to take apart so undo that undo that Keep your workbench clean and tidy so you don't lose anything. These are a nightmare. Look at the size of it. If you drop them and it goes somewhere, it's not great. <laughs> you can't proceed. So back to the switch. So we're just taking the top layer off. You've undone the screws. Screwdriver under there and just slowly lift. You're taking the plastic cover off as well at the same time. Still there. And then don't, don't turn it around. Put it back exactly how you take it off, like that. All right, so now we're ready to start building the first stage. So to remind you, I mean, I'll use this bit of wire here. This is your, we're building RY. So this section here, which references all these resistor values here. So this, this one, goes in there, but you don't do that until you put all the resistors in. Okay, so there's your, this is step one there, so step two there, resistor there. Now, I'm gonna get a resistor, because I should have brought one. You gonna come with or are you gonna stay there? So this one is a 9R1, which correlates to RY, step two, okay? So when I put them in, you can see that you've got your tolerance band here, and then your multiplier band there. So I always like to keep them to the body. So all you do, push it up like that. That's about five, six mil there, and just bend it over like that, and you solder there. Always keep this, don't cut that off. Don't cut that off yet. So then you, you just build up all the way around like this to there. Now, you can see that you've got supports there for the next layer. So this one is the tricky one to solder to this, this pin here, like that. So what I do, I'll take this bit off so you can get to it. And then I need a bit of heaps, a bit of um, screen stuff. Everything together. So generally I'll take about 12 mil off. Like that. Gonna use same resistor again. Put, make sure you get the right end in there. Loop that in. And then I'll basically come in like this. Bend it round. Now because you need to have a contact from there to go down. So to connect to the RX layer, you need to use an extension on there. So I'll just use a bit of silver 0.5 mil wire. So I'm gonna cut about, I don't know, 30 mil like this. So a little loop around the end. I don't want to solder this one up because I don't need to at the moment, really. There's no orders for any. And then close it and solder it. But it needs to be insulated so it doesn't touch anything. So I'll put some sleeving over the top. Like that. So make sure there's no contact there with anything else. Then I'll just snip the end and I'll bend the wire over so the PTFE wire doesn't get pushed out like that. 
Cool, so you build all the way around. All the resistors go all the way around, just like this. You can see, bing, 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 bing. See, there's that bit of wire that I just talked about that's connecting to this, this resistor. There's that bit of wire there, all the way around, bada bing, bada bong. Cool. Once the resistors are fitted, cool, then you have to have your earth. You have to be putting your earth ring in there. So just push that through there, solder it. And then you can see here that we use some one mil um, sleeving to cover that bit. So it's not protect, you know, so it's not going to touch anything. And then you can see that we solder all, all the ends around there like that. Cool, so that's done. So at, at which point the RY layer is done. Um, so now you have to reassemble. Oh, good point here, sorry. You see this connection here, yeah? That one there is your output, okay? So just to prove the pudding here. This. Just put this on to keep it stable. See that obviously is your first position, so that correlates to there. So with a meter, just to show you that tag. So I know that the resistance, when I touch there, is going to be zero, because that's the first. And there we go. So there's your connection. Position two. Position three. So the, the reason you have to take these things apart is because you can't access the, the solder points when it's like this. You can't get to any of their to the, the output to solder. So just grab a bit of one mil silver wire, pure silver HGC, cut it to about there, solder there, and then cover up the end with PTFE. So just so, that, so it doesn't move, what I generally do, once it's soldered, I'll bend it over there. There. So it doesn't move up and down. Cool. So now you're in a situation, our wire is completely built, as is here. All the wire will be coming out, wires will be coming out, flip, 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 like that. So we're ready now to do RX. So this is one we took off earlier. Obviously make sure that is in the lowest volume setting there because that's how this is all lined up. This will fit over smoothly. And you push down. Sometimes these plastic things can be a bit naughty. There. And then screw them in. So we're now ready to put all the resistors in for RX. So have a look at the sheet here. We're now working on RX, the values from RX. Step one, 51K. Obviously this is a 50K step to put, 50K is not a value that is standard. So we go for 51K, it's not gonna make any difference sonically really. So don't worry about that. So 51K resistor, I know this is not a 51K, but it just proves the point of what we're doing now. So same again, position one, we're on step one, 
we're going to put a 51k resistor there. So push that through, bend it over, and solder. So I generally put fit all the resistors all the way around, then solder them up. But you have to be, you have to make sure that you're not going to have any contact with the next one. So if the wire's like this, you're trying to solder it, you will get contact. So the wire has to be looped just over the tag there. See? Then you can solder it. It's not going to touch that one. It's clean. So you build up all the way around there. And again, with this one, okay, especially when you're building a stereo version. So this is this correlates, this second leg correlates to RX here. You have to do the process we did before where you cover the end of the resistor. Just go back in the video, you'll see it. So resistors fit all the way around. Ding 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 ding. So this is RX, the RX layer. When you solder them in, you can cut these wires because they're not needed. Okay? So you built you've got them all the way across like this. When I do it after I'm happy with all my soldering thing and I've done the wire for your output, I'll have all the resistors coming out like this. So you've soldered them in. All the resistors will be out like that. Obviously soldered there so that we're ready to do the next phase. So at this phase, you effectively got to join here. I think I need to get another resistor to show you how to do this one. So now we're in a position where we're joining the connection of RX to RY. So I'll put it in here just to show you how it works. This is your RY resistor here, and this is your RX there. So on the RX side, this will be cut short. On the RY side, this will be connected to the ring, but these wires will be shown, will be, you know, long. So basically like that, fold it over, like that, and then solder there. Okay. So, if you can see here, these are all the RX, RY connections. As you can see, it is a complicated build. There is loads going on. One incorrectly placed resistor and it's a nightmare. And if you've got a problem during testing, and you need to get rid take this layer out to access this, you've got to desolder all of these. This is why we do it in-house for people. Um, on the various occasions when people have tried to build these steps attenuators, generally when I get them back, there's just solder everywhere. So please, big, big warning. If, you, if your soldering technique isn't good and you haven't got confidence, let us build it for you. Don't do it yourself because you're just going to get frustrated. So we're going to be doing the test, testing of the um, resistor, step attenuator. So I generally would use two multimeters, but most people just have one. So I, I'm going to hit the, um, the RY first, but just to go through it, this is your earth, this is your output, and this is your input. So as you can see, input, output, earth. Input, output, earth. That's one channel. Input, output, earth of the other channel. So we're gonna go for RY first. So connect meter on resistance setting. Lowest setting for this RY test. Oops. Turn it all the way down. Try to have your hands holding where you're testing because Believe it or not, you have a resistance and it interferes with it. Um, so 
just compare as I go through the steps. There's a reading, we're going down this list. This is actually a 100k one. I was going on about being a 51k one, but it's, this is a 100k one. So doing the test here, 18R, 36. 20, I need to change this, the range, 220, 390, 680, 1K1, 1K8, change the range, 2K4, 3K3, 5K1, 6K8, 10K, 15K, change the range, 20K, 24K, 33K, 39K, 51K, 62K, 75K. 100k, so all happy with our Y wafer. Just change that. You're now measuring RX, so you want to connect one cable to input, one cable to output. There you go. And now we're running down this list. So R1, 100k, 2, 100k. 300k, 400k, 500k, 600k, 700k, 8, 100k, 9, 100k, 10, 100k, 11, 100k, 12, 100k, 13, 100k, oops, so that's 14, my mistake, 15, 91k, 16, 82k, 17, 82k, 18, 75k, 19, 68k, 20, 62k, 21, 51k, and then 22, 39k, 23, 22k, and then zero. 100% constant, you put this in your system, it will be spot on. So, there you go, all done. Um, so yeah. Complicated build, but if you've got the experience, you should be fine. Take your time, just check everything, your resistor values and all sorts. I mean, you should be able to read the color codes. But la the ladder version is my favorite one because it's just, the, the impedance is st stable all the way through the sweep. It's clean sound. They take a while to burn in, but they are pretty awesome.